Breaking news this evening, Spurs and Juventus are now in advanced talks for a loan move for Dijan Kulusevski uh, in a deal that could be worth €40 million. Euros. Valencia are still pushing for a Brian Hill loan deal. Undombele uh, loan deal now looks complicated to PSG. And Tottenham were unable to agree personal terms with non-league winger Oli Tanner. Welcome back to the channel, hope you're all keeping well. In today's video, I'll be going through all of the latest Tottenham news, all of the latest transfer news, all of the rumours and all of the reports. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button and that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news, as well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel. You can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. Now let's start by talking about the January transfer window deadline because of course we are now 48 hours away uh, at the time of making this video. 11pm uh, it closes on Monday evening. Uh, in the comments section below please do let me know how many players you think Tottenham Hotspur will sign in the next 48 hours and how many players you think will leave this Tottenham Hotspur squad either on loan or on a permanent basis. And if you haven't already, do check out the previous video. It was a live stream on Saturday afternoon, uh, an interview with uh, transfer expert and Italian journalist Brizio Romano, where I put a number of questions to him, asking him whether Tottenham Hotspur will be doing any business in the next 48 hours and will any players leave. There's lots of interesting stuff in there, so do check it out. A report has just been published by the Evening Standard and they are stating that Tottenham unable to agree personal terms with non-league winger Oli Tanner. Tottenham have not been able to reach an agreement with Lewis midfielder Oli Tanner, the non-league club have confirmed. A six-figure bid for the 19-year-old winger had been accepted by Lewis, with Tanner training with Tottenham's development squad for the past fortnight. However, the non-league side um, have announced that Tanner remains with them, having failed to agree personal terms with Tottenham. A statement said Lewis Football Club would like to confirm that whilst the club and a Premier League club agreed a deal in principle for the transfer of Oli Tanner, Oli and the Premier League club were not ultimately able to agree personal terms and he remains a Lewis Football Club player. In the statement, it then goes on to say Tanner missed today's game against Hornchurch due to an injury sustained midweek and we look forward to welcoming him back to the side as soon as he is recovered. Back to the report from the Evening Standard, it then states that Tanner has been watched by Tottenham Academy Chief Chris Powell, having been recommended by Lewis boss Tony Russell. Brighton are understood to have had an offer rejected that would have seen Tanner remain at Lewis on loan for the rest of the season. There are just a couple of days left for Tottenham to make the necessary additions to their squad. Adama Traore had been a target, but his loan move to Barcelona is now official, whilst Liverpool looks set to beat Tottenham in the race to sign Porto star Luis Diaz. Now, since talking to Italian journalist Britcia Romano on Saturday afternoon, he has provided an update on uh, Brian Hill and Tongi Ondombele. He has stated that Valencia are pushing again for Brian Hill loan deal to be completed with Tottenham. Salary coverage discussed, but Valencia are still confident to get this deal done. Meanwhile, Tongi Ondombele loan move to PSG now looks really complicated right now. Now, my thoughts on this, uh, Brian Hill, as I said, um, I don't really understand why we are loaning this player out. I, I feel that he needs experience in the Premier League. Uh, we've paid a lot of money for him, plus giving Eric Lamella uh, to Sevilla in the other direction in the summer. Um, you know, and I believe that he would be a good sub for Spurs as well. Um, you know, with Tongi on Dombele, I'm, I'm a little frustrated. I really am, because he needs to leave... Uh, Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. I can't see really how Antonio Conte can try and integrate him back into this squad if he does not get a loan move or a permanent move in the next 48 hours. But as I've said, 
uh, throughout the whole of this January transfer window, it's going to be very hard to offload Tongi on Dombele uh, when he hasn't been in very good form. He hasn't showed the right attitude and he's on £200,000 a week. Now, when you've got a club like PSG uh, willing to pay uh, that sort of fee, having spoke to Fabrizio Romano on Saturday afternoon, he said that um, you know, PSG are in a position where they need to offload players first before they can bring players like Ondombele in. Now, there have been a lot of rumours and reports published uh, recently about Tottenham Hotspur possibly being interested in Brazilian centre-back Diego Carlos. Now, Italian journalist Brizio Romano has provided an update on this situation, and he said uh, that Diego Carlos is not an option for Spurs as things stand. Sevilla consider Diego untouchable. Club sources guarantee that he is staying in this January transfer window. No swap deals, no cash proposals are currently on the table as Sevilla consider Diego a key player. And also, just to rub it into all of our Tottenham Hotspur fans, Fabrizio then uh, provided some updates on Adama Traore. It is now official and confirmed. He has joined Barcelona from Wolves on loan with a buy option of around €30 million. Euros. Uh, and he has also stated that Brentford are still working to complete Christian Eriksen deal as soon as possible. Now, we could be very close to our first signing of the January transfer window because Fabrizio Romano has just tweeted whilst making this video and he has stated that Spurs and Juventus now in advance talks for Kulishevsky on loan with buy option to become mandatory if certain conditions will be reached. The buy clause could be linked to Champions League football next season and a number of appearances. Value now discussed. Juventus want €40 million. Euros. Now, my thoughts on this. Now, when I had Fabrizio Romano on the channel on Saturday afternoon, we spoke about Kulishevsky, and uh, he actually said that Fabio Prasci was currently on the phone to Juventus trying to get this deal done, and now we are in advanced stage uh, talks with the club. So, um, you know, it's a lot of money, uh, 40 million euros um, to get this deal done. Now, when I've read up on Kulishevsky and watched video clips of him, um, you know, he does look a very creative player. And we have missed a real creative player, uh, you know, for a very, very long time. So hopefully he can come in, uh, you know, walk into this starting eleven, and, uh, you know, grab a few goals, uh, you know, provide a few assists in this team and get this team, uh, you know, ticking again in midfield and... Uh, and be that creative spark that we've missed a lot. Just a reminder, he has been uh, described as a tall, physically strong and versatile player, is capable of playing in several midfield and attacking roles, and has been deployed as an attacking midfielder, as a box-to-box -box midfielder, as a winger on either flank, or even as an offensive-minded central midfielder. His main qualities are his acceleration, speed, stamina, and his ability to switch the play or provide assists and threw balls to teammates courtesy of his vision and passing ability. And lastly, just as I was about to publish this video, Fabrizio Romano has just provided another update. Uh, Tottenham are still confident to find a solution for Deli Alli and Tongi on Dombele. Spurs are also really close to completing the loan deal for Brian Hill to Valencia. Decision to be made soon also on midfielder situation whilst negotiations are progressing uh, with Juventus for Dijan Kulusevski. Thanks Chris and hello to everybody watching. I'm Bill from Football Prizes. I'm just here to tell you about the weekly Spurs prizes that we run on the site. Some of our previous Spurs prizes range from the likes of signed shirts and boots and mounts from players such as Harry Kane, Son Hyung Min and Lucas, right through to club legends like Paul Gascoigne and Jurgen Klinsmann. You can watch the live draws on our Facebook page and you can go on our site and see the previous Spurs winners as well as what prizes we have to offer at www.footballprizes.co.uk. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do let me know all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button and that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you on the next video. Stay safe and well. Come on, you Spurs.